Hello, it's Denise here with Apple Sea Photography. I just wanted to do a really, you know, little tutorial trying to explain a couple things regarding Adobe Camera Raw. So that is my preferred program. Uh, if you use Lightroom or Lightroom Classic, that's cool, but this is one I use and I get a lot of questions of people asking, where is it? You know, when you go and download the, you know, you get the Creative Cloud app and then you go and, you know, get all this here and you for some reason can't open it, but yet you can open Bridge, Lightroom, Photoshop, but you can't open this. That is because it's actually, um, the program opens through Bridge. So you need to have Bridge, then your camera raw will work. And I'm gonna show you how this works. So you're gonna go to Bridge after you've downloaded it. And this only works um, for a raw image. So if you tried to upload a, a JPEG in here, what's gonna happen is it's gonna load it directly into Photoshop, it's gonna skip camera raw because it can only open with a raw file from bridge to get camera raw open or acr so i'm going to show you this i'm going to click this open and then here's acr this is adobe camera raw and that is how you get to it but if this photo actually i'm going to do this really quick as an example i'm going to open this up into photoshop i'm going to save it as a jpeg okay let's do this um jpeg so I'm going to show you what happens when you try to open a JPEG in, in Bridge. And this is what happens. See, you click it and it opens right into Photoshop. So I'm going to do that again, right? But then if you open it with a raw file, it opens it into Adobe Camera Raw. So if you're really, really new and you're wondering, how do I get my file to be, you know, NEF or raw or CR2 uh, or DNG, you're going to need to change those settings in your camera. So every camera, has an option to, or I guess DSLRs have an option to have JPEG, JPEG and RAW, J, or just RAW. So check your camera settings and change it. And if you are too kind of nervous to change it to a RAW, uh, just to have RAW files, you can have it so it saves both. You can have it so it saves JPEG and RAW in your camera. Um, and that's kind of how I started too. So when I was kind of getting used to using RAW files. So yeah, and, and also I just want to show quick while we're here, if you have it in JPEG and you're like, well, I really want to use RAW and it's too late. I've already shot this whole session in JPEG. You can use RAW right here. You can use it. It's it's in, you can use it on your JPEG. So, but then in this case, you wouldn't need to open it in Bridge. You could just open your your JPEG directly into Photoshop. And there, there you can add your presets or see your preset collections or, or whatever. So you know, there's that option too, but I just really wanted to show you the difference and I hope this really helps you understand a little bit more about, I guess, how this works. And yeah, hope you have a wonderful day.